Now, let's take a look at certain questions. The directions say, does the third statement logically follow the first two statements? You can see on your screen, the question statements are here. The first two sentences are our premises and the third sentence is our uh, inference. We have to check if the inference is logically following the first two statements or not. So the first one says, no coward is a fighter. Let's try using this understanding of alphabetically representing our statements in the form of vowels A, E, I, O. Since this talks about no coward is a fighter, which is universal negative, we represent it with E. No coward is a fighter. That's premise one, premise two. Some fighters are brave hearts. Some is represented by I. Some fighters are brave hearts. Now, the question concludes, some brave hearts are not cowards. Some not is O. Some brave hearts are not cowards is what it infers. Now, let's, let's take a look at our distribution table and see if this is logical or no. So, this is universal negative. Both are distributed. This is particular affirmative. Both are not distributed. Your middle term F is distributed at least once and this is negative and this is particular. So your conclusion must be particular negative. It has to be sum not. So till that part, this part is fine. In sum not, the first term is not distributed while your second term is distributed. The last rule of your syllogism tells you that this term being distributed here or this term not being distributed here cannot be distributed here. So ideally speaking, this is a valid inference. So we can say that out of the given four statements, statement A or the part A, part A is definitely inferable. Let's take a look at part B. Part B says all vampires are handsome. All is represented by A, all vampires are handsome. So you know that this is distributed and this is not distributed. Statement two, some vampires are not dancers. Some not is our O. Some vampires are not dancers, not distributed and distributed. The conclusion derived as per the question is, some dancers are not handsome. Some not is O, some dancers are not handsome. Now in some not, you know that the second term is distributed while the first term is not. But handsome, the term handsome is not distributed in your premise, hence it cannot be distributed in your conclusion, hence this is not a valid conclusion. So part B fails. Let's take a look at part C. Part C says, Australians indulge in sledging. Those who indulge in sledging are cheaters. Some who indulge in sledging are not Australians. How do we understand the statement that says Australians indulge in sledging? This does not make use of any quantifiers whatsoever. So such a generalized statement is to be treated as universal affirmative. So it implies all Australians indulge in sledging. So all Australians indulge in sledging. First term distributed, second term is not distributed. Those who indulge in sledging are cheaters. So in other words, all sledgers are cheaters. So distributed, not distributed. So the conclusion derived as per the question is, some who indulge in sledging are not Australian. So it talks about some not. Some not is O. Some who indulge in sledging are not Australians. Now in some not, this is not uh, uh, distributed while this is distributed. Now both these sta given statements are universal and affirmative from which we are actually deriving a negative conclusion. Now from universal affirmative statements, we can derive universal affirmative or particular affirmative. So this being particular negative is not a valid conclusion, we rule this out. So part C is not inferable. Let's look at part D. Part D says, some crazy dudes are wildness. It talks about some, so some is our I, some crazy dudes are wildness. So both these are not distributed. Statement two. All crazy dudes are guitarists. All crazy is A, are guitarists, distributed, not distributed. The conclusion drawn is, some guitarists are wildness. Some guitarists are wildness. Now, your middle term is distributed at least once. One of them is particular, so your conclusion must be particular. Both these are not distributed in some, so this is definitely a valid conclusion. Another inference that we can derive is some violinists are guitarists. So that would also be a valid conclusion. So overall, we know that part A and part D are valid conclusions. So from the given options, your best pick would be answer option C. Let's take a look at another example. First statement says all good soldiers are fighters. So it starts off with all. All good soldiers are fighters. All patriots are good soldiers. Again, all, all patriots are good soldiers. 
based on which the inference drawn is all fighters are patriots. Now, since they are both all, you know first terms are distributed while the second terms are not. So in your conclusion logically, your first term is distributed while your second term is not. So here, this term f which is not distributed in your premise is appearing as a term that is distributed. Hence, this conclusion is not valid, so we rule out option A. Uh, statement first part A, second part B. No cricketer is an actor. Now you are talking about no, so it is E. No cricketer is an actor. You know both of them are distributed for universal negative. All cricketers are tough. It talks about all cricketers are tough. First term distributed, second term is not. So your inference that is drawn is some actors are tough. Some is I. Actors are tough. Now, your middle term is distributed at least once. Both of them are universal, but one of them is negative. First one being negative, your conclusion should have a negative uh, inference as such, but the sum is affirmative and not negative, hence this is not a valid conclusion. Part C. All burgers are tasty. All burgers are tasty, so distributed, not distributed. Some hot dogs are burgers. Some is I, some hot dogs are burgers, so both of them are not distributed. And the inference that is drawn is some hot dogs are tasty. It talks about some hot dogs being tasty. Because it is some, both of them should not be distributed. Because one is universal and the other is particular, your conclusion must be particular. Both of them are affirmative, you derive affirmative conclusions. And hot dogs and tasty, both of them are not distributed. So you can very well say this is a valid inference. Part D. Some illusions are magic. Some illusions are magic, both of them are not distributed. All illusions are jadu. All illusions are jadu, distributed, not distributed. So ideally speaking, one of them is universal affirmative, the other is particular affirmative, so you derive particular affirmative conclusions. So your conclusion says some jadu are magic, some jadu are magic, both of them not being distributed is very much valid based on the given premises. So you can say that part C and part D are valid out of the four parts, so your correct option would be answer choice A. Let's take a look at another set. The first part reads Homo sapiens are prehistoric creatures. So we have to relate Homo sapiens to prehistoric creatures, no quantifier use, so you know it is universal affirmative. Second part, Anthropos are not Homo sapiens. Again, no quantifier use, but it is in the negative, so you understand this as universal negative, so it should be understood as no anthro Anthropos is a Homo sapien, so it is no, so it has to be E. Based on which, he's derived a conclusion that says, Anthropos are not prehistoric creatures. It says, Anthropos are not prehistoric creatures. Now, this is all, so first part is definitely distributed, second part is not distributed. This is negative, so both of them are universal, one of them negative, so you need to have a negative conclusion. In this negative conclusion, both of them are distributed. In the universal negative conclusion, both of them are distributed, but here P cannot be distributed because P is not distributed in your given premise, hence this is not a valid conclusion. Part B. All teachers are helpful. All teachers are helpful. No helpful is selfish. No helpful is selfish, based on which the derivation is no selfish is a teacher. No selfish is a teacher. So here again you have all, in this fashion you understand that your distribution exists and you know both of them are universal, one of them is negative, so you have a negative conclusion where you need to have both of them distributed. So you know that your middle term is distributed at least once and both the other terms T and S are distributed in your conclusion, hence you can say that this is a valid conclusion. Part C. No ruby is a pearl. So it says no ruby is a pearl. No diamond is a pearl. No diamond is a pearl, so you know all these are distributed here. Let's see what the conclusion says. Rubies are diamonds. It says rubies are diamonds means it says all rubies are diamonds. Here this term is distributed while this term is not distributed. Now. What we need to understand here is this. You have the middle term P distributed in both of them. Both these are in fact negative, but here you are deriving conclusion. But when you know that both the premises are negative, we cannot draw any conclusions, hence this is just not valid at all. So part C is ruled out. Part D. All monkeys love pizzas. 
all monkeys love pizzas some boys love pizzas some boys love pizzas based on which the conclusion derived is some boys are monkeys some boys are monkeys now this is universal affirmative this is particular affirmative you're deriving a particular affirmative conclusion now this is distributed this is not distributed both these are not distributed now what you have to understand here is this your middle term is love pizzas middle term is not distributed in any of the premises hence we cannot have any conclusion at all so out of all the four parts you know only part b can give you a valid conclusion so your correct option should be answer option b let's take a look at another question the first part reads all tsunamis are disasters all tsunamis are disasters distributed not distributed second part some earthquakes some earthquakes are disasters so both of these are not distributed so ideally speaking you understand here that your middle term is d here it is not distributed in either of these terms so you should not be having any conclusion at all but when the conclusion is drawn in the question you know this is definitely an invalid conclusion whatever the conclusion may be part b all mirrors are transparent all mirrors are transparent distributed not distributed some translucent are mirrors some translucent are mirrors so you know both these are not distributed let's see what the conclusion says conclusion says some translucent are transparent some translucent are transparent both these are not distributed so you notice that one is universal affirmative the other is particular affirmative so your conclusion must be particular affirmative middle term is m distributed at least once so your conclusion should involve t and tl in any order so this is definitely a valid conclusion part c all muddy shores are swamps all muddy shores are swamps so distributed not distributed all beaches are muddy shores all beaches are muddy shores distributed not distributed let's see what the conclusion is some beaches are swamps some beaches are swamps both these should not be distributed now here your middle term is m definitely distributed uh, in at least one of the premises both these are universal affirmative that does not mean we cannot derive particular affirmative we can derive particular affirmative also these terms b and s s is not distributed in your premise hence it cannot be distributed in the conclusion but both these are not distributed so there's absolutely no problem do not get confused with b being distributed in the premise and not being distributed in the conclusion like we already discussed earlier rule number 7 only talks about the term that is not distributed and not about the term that is distributed hence this is qualified as a valid conclusion part d no politician is a patriot no politician is a patriot so both these are distributed second part balu is not a patriot so balu is not a patriot should now be understood as balu is not a patriot so in other words it means that no balu is a patriot so here this is again universal negative since both these are universal negative since both these are negative ideally there should not be any conclusions drawn whatever be the conclusion drawn there cannot be any conclusions drawn whatsoever but here the question gives you a conclusion which automatically tells you that it is invalid hence we rule out part d also so out of these parts b and c are definitely valid so your best pick from the given choices should be option c so this brings us to the end of the session on deductions or syllogisms come back to these sessions if you have any doubt again good luck